Hello there, it's Ben Bowers, the Spirit Specialist, and I am here to talk to you about Avasolo Mexican Whiskey. Yes, Mexican Whiskey. Very unusual, this. Um, I am changing up the format of the video slightly moving forward from this one. I actually uh, reviewed the liquid last week, um, but what's going to happen is I'm going to give you a bit of information about the distillery itself that makes this, uh, and then we'll move on to the tasting. So there will be a costume change after this little snippet about the distillery itself. Abasolo whiskey is produced at the Destilleria y Bodega Abasolo in the small town of Gilotepec, 100 kilometers northwest of Mexico City. It was the first purpose-built distillery in Mexico and is one of the highest in the world at around 7,800 feet above sea level. Dr. Ivan Saldana is the master distiller, who is a forward-thinking creative of spirits and a man not afraid to experiment with distillation processes. Abasolo is a corn-based whiskey that utilizes an ancient process called nixtamalization, a centuries-old technique dating back to Mesoamerican times, in which the corn is soaked and cooked in an alkaline solution before washing, hulling, roasting and milling, which releases a considerably deeper and richer flavor and aroma. It's the first time this process has been used for producing a spirit. Traditionally, nixtamalization was used to create masa, which is the base for tortillas, tamales and other classic Mexican staples. The corn itself is named Cacahuazintle, which has been cultivated and passed down for more than 200 generations by local farmers for its distinctive flavor. Mexico can be considered the ancestral birthplace of corn, and Cacahuazintle is one of the earliest types of corn in existence. A small amount of malted corn is also used during distillation, before the spirit is matured in a combination of virgin and ex-bourbon casks. The new spirit is then rested in a warehouse that has no walls, meaning the barrels are subjected to the vastly changing elements of the Mexican weather. Abasolo whiskey is bottled at 43%, but it is not known whether chill filtration takes place or colour is added. And you're looking at uh, about 40, 45 quid a bottle for this. So, on the nose, there's a definite corn element, which you would kind of hope for, but you know, you never know if you're actually going to get it or not. But it's quite dry as well, and do you know what? I get a feeling of kind of deserts. It's quite dry, but there's a, it's like the, the smell of dry sand. It's really, it's very pleasant. And it's, I don't know if it's just because of where it's made and it's just putting an idea in my head, but I get this mental image of a dry, dusty plain and cactus, you know, the kind of like classic picture of a cactus with two arms coming out, kind of, it's got a real dry feel to it, but not in an unpleasant way, not in a kind of like, oh, this is gonna, you know, taste like absolutely nothing, or it's gonna taste like sucking on sand. It's, I really like that nose. There's, there's a slight kind of metallic no, uh, note to it. There's, there's almost a slight kind of coppery note to it. It's, it's really unusual. There's a lot going on here. And it's very kind of like, it's weird. It kind of evokes classic, I've never been to Mexico. So I, I can't say, oh, it evokes Mexico because I've not been there. But it evokes stereotypical images of Mexico. It evokes stereotypical kind of it's like, and it's probably not Mexico, it's more kind of like Texas type area where it is cactus and desert and rustic and, but in such a good way, such an interesting way. Right, let's see what it's like on the palate because the nose is absolutely intriguing me. So it's quite young, clearly, because it's, it feels quite tight, but then all of a sudden it just opens up. It starts off, you put it in your mouth, and it's like, oh, this is quite tight. It's not really got a lot to give. It feels like it's a little bit harsh. And then all of a sudden, everything opens up like a flower, and you get lovely kind of buttery sweet corn, like buttery corn on the cob. There's a, a really kind of soft, dry chili element to it. There's a uh, demerara sugar, but as though you're actually kind of like biting down on demerara sugar granules. 
there's a lovely caramel sweetness, but it's like salted caramel, and it's quite a salty salted caramel underlying. Very much kind of popcorn's coming through now. The finish keeps going. Really, really impressed with the finish, and it really evolves into um, buttered popcorn, you know, popcorn that you get at the cinema where they do the melted butter on the top, but then also like this salted caramel element as well. It starts off quite tight, and I think if you were to, if you were to try this, say you were in a, a sampling session and somebody said, oh, do you want to try this? And you literally had like a tiny little bit like that, and you just went down and swallowed and went, oh, that's a bit harsh, and then moved on without really thinking it. This needs a couple of seconds, just literally give it a couple of seconds to let it sit on your tongue or just like appreciate the finish after you swallow just give it a, literally a couple of seconds and all of a sudden it just opens up and you get loads of kind of other elements coming through um, this really is quite deceptive because up front it's kind of I'm not giving you anything and then all of a sudden it's like okay come here come and have a cuddle and it's just these flavors really really start to develop this is absolutely fantastic I think it'll work really well in a cocktail because it's got enough bite and youth at the start that if you're putting this in a whiskey based cocktail that has a little bit of a sweeter edge to it as well if you're looking for something like I don't know it probably actually work with an old-fashioned where you get that you're looking for the bite of the equivalent of a rye whiskey, which this has at the start, but then you want the sweetness of when you have your simple syrup to work with against the bitters and that slight oranginess. I think that will work really well in an old fashioned and I will be trying it at some point over the next couple of nights. This is brilliant. This is really, really good. This is the sort of stuff that I love to sell in the shop because it's unusual. Most people are gonna go, I didn't even know they'd made whiskey, but it's actually really good quality as well. It was entirely possible that you could have had a Mexican whiskey that's one of the first, it's the first one I have ever come across and it is just rough and ready because they are just banging it away and having done, but they are really doing the job properly. And I think it's absolutely brilliant and well worth picking up a bottle. It's available through our website, www.spiritspecialist.com. We offer nationwide UK delivery. You're also more than welcome to come into the shop and pick up a bottle. Um, I do have some tasting stock available. So if you did want to try it before picking up a bottle, that's not a problem at all, but I highly, highly recommend it. I think this is absolutely fascinating stuff. Really intrigued to see what they come up with with some more aged um, elements because I think the youthfulness on this indicates that there is more to give, definitely. But as a start, as an introduction, fantastic stuff. Absolutely brilliant. So that's me done and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>